Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to get the stone armor from the very beginning of the game in Dark Souls. From Firelink Shrine, you want to take the usual route down into New Londar Ruins. So you want to take the stairs down and you will eventually come to another set of stairs which contains an elevator. Now you want to take this elevator straight down and you will enter New Londar Ruins. Now guys, the stone armor is definitely well worth getting and I recommend following this guide to the very detail if you want to do it successfully because as I said it's going to be a long difficult ride but it's definitely well worth it as a stone armor will benefit you a hell of a lot. Once you take the elevator down roll off and you will land without any damage whatsoever and then you will find yourself triggered in New Londar runes. I would not recommend exploring New Londar runes unless you have one hell of a death wish. Take the stairs in the next tower and you will use the master key on this gate here and find yourself in the Valley of Drakes. Cross over this small narrow bridge here and now you want to walk facing the cliff face. Do not roll off as obviously you will die. You'll see a bridge in the distance that holds the undead dragon. Let him throw up as much as he wants guys then when you get the chance run and jump into his boil. You will take a small amount of damage but you will not be poisoned and you will not die. Now this will probably happen twice if you want to get the soul of a proud knight which is always good but you will eventually make it past him. Now you will see some smaller drakes in the distance. What you want to do is let them ready their attack run past them as they are firing their lightning bolts. Now you want to let your stamina heal and then you want to charge past because this guy follows you all the way into the elevator if you let him which is not what you want to do so you want to take this left through this small door and you'll find yourself on another elevator now what you want to do is take this elevator all the way up and you'll find yourself dark root base in bonfire exit through the long corridor and you will come across a black knight what you want to do is run straight down in order to make him fall then you can run past him freely in my case die so I'm just going to recover nothing because I happen to die there twice now you want to keep following this route it's literally a straight line from here guys up the first slope you want to go straight ahead and you will eventually find yourself within the depths of dark route in the distance you'll see Havel's tower ignore that and instead follow this route straight ahead and you will find in the distance a group of ice golems. Now what you want to do guys is ignore these ice golems. You can lure them if you like, which I recommend doing because they will chase you, they will launch ice attacks at you and they pack one hell of a punch when you're at a low level. So avoid these guys and you will then see the Hydra in the distance. Run straight to the cliff face guys. If you have the rusted iron ring which is needed then definitely get it because you need it. Keep running against the waterfall and you will find a ladder just out the waterfall. Climb as fast as you can. The Hydra will attack you, but he shouldn't kill you if you've done it right and you've done it quick enough and you've timed it perfectly. You want to climb all the way to the top of this ladder, guys. This is actually the first time that I'd ever managed to successfully do this trick, so I was very happy to get this footage to share with you people on YouTube. So you want to climb this lengthy ladder. Now if you have the guts and the arrows and the dexterity, you can actually kill the Hydra from up here, which I will show you in another guide. So you want to climb this ladder, cross the bridge in the distance, and head all the way across here, and you will come across another ladder just past this wall. Take extra care and caution, you will die if you fall off this narrow path. So you want to climb this ladder all the way to the top. Now do not cross that bridge, and instead if you see the shiny flower, you're going the right way past the shiny flower and you will find yourself in the forest itself you will be chased by a lot of trees a lot of ants avoid them at all costs now I'm gonna leave this in just for comic effect guys because as I said this is the first time I'd ever done this trick and I got completely lost and had no idea where I was so I aggroed absolutely everything in the forest when all I had to do was literally follow the cliff if I followed the cliff to the ruins then I wouldn't have had to aggro everything and I could have just got the stone armor without panicking and without literally screaming like a little girl. So what you want to do guys is as you can see right now I'm following the cliff but again for some silly reason I venture back into the forest because I was under the impression I was being chased by everything which I really was. That's not nice at all. 
So I'm just running through the forest and I accidentally aggro even more ghosts. Now these ghosts pack one hell of a punch guys, so you do not want to do that. If you follow the cliff face, however, like I should have done, as you can see again, I run back into the forest like a dumbass. Then I wouldn't have had to go through all of this brain power to actually get this footage. So from here, I'm literally going to run straight ahead now. If I'd have just followed the cliff face, I would have already been there, but I didn't. So hopefully you guys can share in my panic and appreciate it and get some entertainment from it. But if you follow the cliff face, you will, will come across the forest covenant, which you can join. But instead, guys, run straight through the ruins, straight across this bridge and roll off this ledge here. You will not take too much damage. Then from these ruins, you want to go around them and you will eventually find a chest which contains the stone armor. Now, the stone armor is definitely the best armor available at the beginning of the game. Look at those stats. Now, you can take on a hell of a lot with this. You can take on bosses and tank more damage than you would if you were just using the beginning of the game armor. So I recommend combining this stone armor with Havel's ring, otherwise you probably will not be able to equip it and without being over encumbered and subsequently having to walk everywhere. So Havel's ring, stone armor, guys, that's all you need. As always, guys, thumbs up, subscribe, and share my videos, and please keep coming back. I make these videos for you guys as much as I do myself, and I really hope you enjoy them and take away some educational value, and in this case, some entertainment. So until next time, guys.